Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave 2.0. I would like to thank all of my subs and supporters who watch, share, like, and comment on the videos. In addition, I have to give a big up to all of my people who purchased my masterpiece, The N-Word is No Secret in the Service. If you would like to purchase this masterpiece, just go to the link in the pinned comment. Thanks again, everybody. Big up to you all. Let's cook. Okay, people. So, I was watching a video on YouTube, listening to this video, this interview on YouTube, and there's a brother with a channel called Real, Right, and Uncut. And I believe that he interviews people in the, in the streets in the state of North Carolina. I believe it's North Carolina, right? And I seen some terrible, terrible nonsense. He's interviewing this lady. It's a 46-year-old white woman, right? He's interviewing a 46-year-old white woman. And she's there with her black boyfriend, who's only 18. Actually, she's 45. She said she's about to turn 46. Her black boyfriend is 18. Now, this ain't cool, man. And, and in my opinion right here, in my opinion, she's taking advantage of this young man. And I hope this dude has at least one relative that, come, that cares for him and just comes and get him. But with all the issues that he has, it may be too far gone. I don't know his family situation, you know what I mean? But uh, so the brother who's interviewing him is asking him about the backgrounds that they come from, right? And the white woman, right, she says she comes from a two-parent household and her dad was a backdoor preacher. She said that her father was a big dog in the Ku Klux Klan. Big dog, she said. Now, so she's the daughter of a Klansman. But she, cl she claims that uh, she doesn't approve of it, okay? She grew up in a very violent, dysfunctional, just nasty house. She didn't graduate from high school. Um, she's been in abusive relationships throughout her life. She claims that her brother shot her ex. She's on the streets. She's selling her body as a prostitute. She said that she enjoys being a prostitute because it's an adre adrenaline rush. Uh, and she also says that it's one of the oldest professions and it's in the Bible. You know what I mean? She says this is in the King James Version. So she tries to justify being a prostitute by using the Bible, using religion, and also saying that it's adrenaline rush. She said she makes a few hundred dollars a day. And she says that God wants us to enjoy our lives. This woman, she also smokes crack, I believe. She's a junkie, all out, okay? She's a, she's a junkie. She's on the street. She's a pro, all that. And she's got this young black man with her, 18 years of age, man. 18 years of age. And this young black man that she's with, it's very obvious to tell that he's dealing with some cognitive issues, like some arrested development. You know, he's on drugs as well. He's also a junkie, okay? And when I watch the video, I'm like, okay, it makes sense to me now. It makes sense. She's obviously, in this video, she's showing that she's her daddy's daughter. She's the daughter of a, ra a racist. She was raised, ra actually her dog, her, her dad was big dog in the KKK. And she's obviously showing that. She's showing it. And people, people, you got to understand something, man. You know what I mean? Many of these women like her, first off, she's doing something horribly wrong because she's taking advantage of this young man to where, you know, it's almost like she's his mother slash counselor from a group home or something like that slash crack friend slash whatever, you know, but many, many white women who are with black men like this are racist. I'm telling you, her dad was a big dog in the KKK, yet she was raised with this. She says she doesn't have these beliefs. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all because of what she's doing now. I don't believe that she doesn't have these beliefs of her father because of what she's doing now to a black person, okay? You know what I mean? A lot of these women like her, they just find a situation with a black man where they are the primary beneficiaries, okay? You know what I mean? That's what's going on in these type of relationships. This is what this woman is doing with this young black man, 18 years of age. She comes from the house of a Klansman. Yeah, she's witty. Yeah, she'll sleep up with him and all this other stuff and get high with him. But look at what she's doing to him. Look at the issues that he probably already had, how she's, you know, enhancing him and making his life even worse. She's okay with doing that because he's black. 
You know what I mean? And that even goes for like a lot of those big fat white ladies, you know, that you see, you, you know, you see a lot of these big fat white ladies with a, a black man who may be very unproductive. People call him a loser, you know, unproductive types. We know the type, y'all. Even those big fat white ladies that may be with these type of dudes, he doesn't have to do anything but just sit around and be with her. There's something in it for that big obese white woman as well. See, people look at, at that like, oh, well, he's the beneficiary. No, 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 no. She's the beneficiary as well. You know what I mean? It's a whole quid pro quo thing. You know what I'm saying? So don't think that she's not the beneficiary as well or probably the primary beneficiary because she has more control. They want control. You know what I mean? And often you see as well, when you see these big obese white women, as soon as they get themselves together, if they ever do, which is rare, they go get gastric bypass or get on that Ozempic or something. As soon as that weight starts falling off, they try to put themselves back out there on the market for a white man or another black man who may be doing better. You know what I mean? A lot of times for a white man, they're too far gone. They're too far gone for a decent white American man who's taking advantage of being white and thriving in America. They're usually too far gone for that. So they'll go ahead. If they can't get one of them, which they usually can't, they'll try to go ahead and level up with a different kind of black man. But as soon as these big white ladies get on gas, get gastric, get on a Zimphic, they usually go ahead and do what they always wanted to do. They always wanted to be with a white man. They like being with black dudes, yes. But look at the kind they can get. You know what I'm saying? Quite often. Now, a lot of them do get decent ones. A lot of them get decent black dudes. I'm just saying it's available for them. You know what I mean? It's there for them. It's there for even some of these big, fat, you know what I mean, white ladies to get a decent black dude. The way it's set up, y'all, the way this whole, it trickles down in the religion of white supremacy race, the way it trickles down, even those big, fat women can do okay. You know what I mean? But it's sad, man. Going back to this video, I kind of fell off a little bit, but going back to this video, to see this young man, man, you watch this video, and I'm going to uh, attach the link. I'm going to put it in the pinned comment, and I'm also going to put it in the description, this brother's channel. Uh, this young man here, if you listen to him, you can clearly see that he's a kid who's, you know, you could tell he's, you know, he's slow. It, it, it's some stuff going on. She looks like, clearly looks like a counselor for a program that he's in, you know what I mean? She looks like his owner, and she acts like it. Look at how she talks to him when you watch this. He doesn't know any better, man. You know what I'm saying? He's on drugs, y'all. And, and to begin with, he probably was already doomed from a fetus, man. It, you could tell. You know the types, y'all. You know the types. And you know he's on drugs. And it's so obvious to tell that this is a Klansman's daughter right here. Actually, big dog in the Klan is what she said. You know what I mean? So, folks, understand something. Here's the thing, people. This is for a lot of you grass is greener on the other side type Negroes. Let me tell you something. The people who are always saying, you know, black people treated me bad. They laugh at me. They call me corny. They, they tease me because I talk white. They call me ugly and cornball. They're mean. They're aggressive. You know, black people think I'm stupid or whatever, whatever other experience you may have had around your people. And I'm not saying that you lying. I mean, you might have been around some, you know, unfortunately, had to be around some black people who are not productive or just always treating you bad. But let me tell you something. If you can't get respect, at least from your own people and the people that you're around, your own people don't respect you, and you go amongst white people, and they make you feel accepted and happy, that's because, the reason why is because you're so low to them and a flunky as a human that they're willing to set to accept a black person who's like you in your state. You know what I'm saying? It's not that they respect you either. If you can't get respect amongst your own people, you, you can't go around white people and get respect. They don't respect you. They, 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 they like you around, and they make you feel accepted and happy because to them, you're just a low flunky as a human. You are an, a representative of the only kind of black person that they would ever have around you. You know what I'm saying? You're a flex tool for them for them to go ahead and tell their little racist jokes and do whatever they want to do. 
I've showed you quite a few videos on this channel of black people in this position and ended up in ditches and burned up, you know, just terrible. Go watch some of them. You know, and a lot of our people go thinking like, yeah, these white people are cool. They're nice to me, this, this, and that, and they're this. You're a junkie to them. You're, you're a flex tool. You're a flunky. If you can't get respect from your own people, there's no way you can go around other people and get respect, yo. They may act like they like you. That's because you are so low to them that you are a representative of the only state of a black person that they would want around. You know what I mean? That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. And people, you realize what kind of, what these people have to be and act like to have relationships from white people? It's all a scam, man. It's all a scam, yo. You know what I mean? Here we got this 46-year-old woman who's in a relationship with this 18-year-old young black man, and people will say, well, she ain't racist. She's with a young black Look at him. He's in his right place. The reality is, as much as this hurts your feelings, most Americans will never have a black friend and vice versa. Welcome to America. All that friendship stuff is, is an illusion. It's an illusion. Okay? These relationships ain't what it is. Usually, I'm not saying that you don't have this kind of relation. I'm not saying that they don't exist. Because I know they may possibly exist, but not many. Don't come at me with that 70%. You know, No, I'm talking about maybe 3%, possibly. You know what I mean? People, think about the, the people, like the rel people you really know, like relatives in your family, whatever. You know, people that fall into that category, the ones that, you know, always want to be around white folks as if they got nothing else going for them in life, you know? Always seeking refuge in white folks because they figure it's better than hanging with their family or people in their community who may be ignorant. I'm not saying that these black people that they have to be around aren't. I get that. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But... Notice the white folks that they go around are 10 times more ignorant and racist. I mean, these are the trash types. And I bet you that person in your family or the person that you know that's like that, who just adores being a white, right, uh, around uh, white people so much and in their company, nine times out of 10, I bet you they're either slow. I mean, like, you know, special ed type slow or, you know, slow, very unproductive on drugs and alcohol. That type, I guarantee you. Because... These are the type of people that white folks prefer to have around, if any, people like that. They don't mind having a black person around them like that because they know this person is lower than us. You know what I mean? It makes them feel good. You're in your nice little black place. We'll accept you. Come on around. Come on around, Rel. Come on around, Emily. Come on around, Tasha. You know, whatever the name may be. Just like this 18-year-old in this video with this 46-year-old white woman, the daughter of a Klansman. She has no respect whatsoever for black people. And she's on her racist flex right here. She's flexing like her daddy, the daughter of a Klansman. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she out here, crackhead, prostitute, all that, pulling this young man down with him. I'm not saying that he wasn't already down, but why you want to add to that, man? This is the act of a white supremacist right here, man. And people, wh whoever sees this video, man, this young man, look, if you know this young man and you might be one of his peoples or whatever and he's not too far gone, man, go get him, man. Go get him. Go get this young man. Yo, come on, man. This is terrible. But people, I'm going to attach the link to the video in the pinned comment and I believe also in the description. So after you watch it, come back here and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Come back and leave your comment here. Leave your comment there if you want to, but come back here and leave your comment. You know what I mean? Anyway, easy.